Today's question is nice. It's very nice. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Alright guys, today's question for this myth busting is, Swamiji mentioned and other Gurus have also used, especially in the Zen tradition if I'm not mistaken, they're using this example. They say, enlightenment is as simple as sneezing. Yes guys, everybody knows how to sneeze. Enlightenment is as simple. So, this is, I had a click about this actually, and I wanted to share this click with you all. See, that's how far my seeking has gone towards that um, truth so far. Swamiji did not promote, who does not promote the path of meditation and being on your own and all that anymore uh, for various reasons. Mainly, um, that is not the right approach. Um, it doesn't give the full experience and going towards people is mandatory because end of the day consciousness is all pervading and then it is within everything. So engaging with others, he says, if you were raised in a forest, then maybe you can get it, get enlightenment while being in the forest. But if you're raised in the cities, you have to go in the cities. Why? Because this is how you build your incompletions, your life negative cognitions. Only when you sit in that space, you will be able to dismantle them and reclaim your enlightenment, your all-powerfulness. So, um, sneezing. So Swamiji, because he does not go to that route, he, he presents, he, he gives us the path of manifesting what you want. He's all about manifest the reality you want. Why? Because... My understanding, see, ultimately, cosmos is a tatastu, means so be it. Whatever you generate, whatever thought and desire you cherish, cosmos will fulfill it. So, there's nothing that we generate that is not attended by cosmos. But what happens is that we are so chaotic that we generate all kinds of stuff at any moment. We have no power and, and awareness over our inner space. So what's going on inside is a total chaos. And that chaos gets reflected by the reality we live so we have to bring awareness back to the inner space, complete whatever needs to be completed so that the chaos will be, will be aware of what is happening inside of us. And with that awareness, we can create the reality we want consciously. So creating what you want, that's what it is. What I realized, at many times I had different experiences where sometimes I did make it happen, sometimes I did not make it happen. So I was contemplating on like, what was the space? What was the difference in my space where I made it happen in a situation where I made something that I wanted happen and in a situ situation where I did not make what I wanted happen. And I realized that to make something happen, you actually want to make it happen. It's actually very simple. You have to want it. Want it means, and that's where I got the click with sneezing. When you sneeze, actually I have also many times felt like sneezed, sneezing and decided not to sneeze, and like that, I did not sneeze. But many times also, when you sneeze and you just feel, I just want to sneeze, how your inner space get completely empty, your desire to sneeze takes everything, and then you just go all out, and then you sneeze. That is the space we need to make things happen. That is what I understand of what is enlightenment. That is what I understand, um, of what is the space from which you manifest your enlightenment. You have to want to make it happen. How, when you want to sneeze, you're willing to stop everything around you for the sake of sneezing. That intensity, we have to be with enlightenment to get it. There's a story of Sri Ramakrishna, one of the great incarnations, um, who was training Vivekananda, who is also a great incarnation, his disciple, disciple of Ramakrishna. And one time, to, to make Vivekananda understand, Ramakrishna takes Vivekananda and puts his head under the water. And then, naturally, Vivekananda is like, oh my God, I want to breathe. He's, he's, he, wants, he desperately wants to come out and breathe. So he brings his head out and he breathes. And then Ramakrishna tells Vivekananda, he says, that is, that's how enlightenment is. When you want enlightenment with the same intensity that you just wanted to breathe now while your head was underwater, when that intensity with, 
when you have that intensity towards enlightenment, simply enlightenment will be given to you. So that's what I wanted to share in this video. How sneezing brings enlightenment is just, you have to want it and you have to discard everything else just for the sake of that. Anything you want in your life, this is the space you have to be in to be successful and manifest. Um, when you do manifesting powers, you have to be in, you have to desire to be in oneness with Swamiji. Nothing else, just the desire to be in oneness. When you want to be a millionaire, you need to be willing to do whatever it takes to make money. And you will make your money. If you read stories of people who became millionaires, they all have this point in common. They went through ups and downs. They had, most of them had many bankruptcies and all that stuff. They went back to zero, but they never stopped. And they made it happen because that intensity was there. And that is the inner space. Whether you, it, so it doesn't really matter what you want to manifest because as long as you get into the space of manifestation, then you can just decide to orient this space towards enlightenment and like that you can manifest enlightenment in the same way you manifest money. You cannot, mani you cannot say, I'm not manifesting money, but I'm manifesting enlightenment. It's impossible because it's the same space. It's just the object towards which the space is oriented is different, whether it is money or enlightenment. So if you have problems to manifest money, you will have problems to manifest your enlightenment. If you have problems to wake up in the morning, you will have problems to manifest your enlightenment and to manifest money. If you have problems to engage and have good relationships, you will have problem with making money. You will have, you understand? It's a space. You have to get in that space. Once you get that space, you can get anything you want. So enlightenment is as simple as sneezing. I am, my questioning is done. It's actually as simple as sneezing. So this is what I want to share with you. Leave your comments below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe also, support the channel. If you feel like these sharings are useful, enriching, then um, helping others, people to get it reaching out and making the channel more um, active, more alive, whether it is in terms of putting likes or comments and likes to comments <laughs> and just so that videos can reach out to more people who are actually interested in listening to this and who are interested in seeking into this and raising themselves, raising their lives. So yes, if you have any questions, if you have a question like something that Swamiji said that you don't understand, sorry guys, uh, phone ran out of storage, video got cut. So I just wanted to add, if you have a question about something that Swamiji said, and uh, if I have any form of clarity towards that, you can write it as a comment below. And uh, so then like that, I can make videos answering these questions that most likely many people have also. So by answering you, um, I can also share this clarity with so many other people. And that is gonna be a great enriching um, videos. So any video of the Smith Busting series, same thing can be done. Question, like, comment, Share it with people if you feel it's useful, if it's giving you clarity or deeper understanding or triggering deeper seeking um, towards the ultimate, towards Paramashiva, towards the space of Paramashivoham that Swamiji is making available to all of us. So yes, with this guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Nityanandam, Nityanandam, Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. Be blissful, yes. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda Paramashivu